Thank you, Father Yahweh, for this day that you have made for yourself, that we should worship you. This day of November the 4th, 2018, thank you uh, that you are always there, uh, faithful, just uh, who you say you are. Thank you, Holy Spirit, that you are always faithful, uh, feeding us with the bread of life each and every day being always by our side, our teacher, our con, consol, con, con, consolator. Thank you, Lord Holy Spirit, for today, the scripture that you gave us today. Acts 4, verses 16 to 17, I read, saying, What shall we do to these men? For that indeed a notable miracle hath been done by them is manifest that all them that dwell in in to all them that dwell in Jerusalem and we cannot deny it but that it spread no further among the people let us threatly threaten them that they speak henceforth to to no man in this name end of quote this is the word of God Father Yahweh we thank you praise be to your holy name Obey Yahweh more than government. Obey Yahweh more than government. Christian civil disobedience should always be the answer to any government that calls to, do, to disobey Yahweh. After the assassination of Yahshua Christ based on a death sentence uh, of the Sanhedrin members, Apostle Paul, Apostle Peter, Peter and John came and preached in the temple of Jerusalem. The very building that housed the Sanhedrin, which was the local government of Judah under Roman colonial occupation. The Sanhedrin, also known as Council in Scripture, was a body composed of 72 to 71 to 72 persons and was entrusted with the principal affairs of the nation. First lack of this presentation, a good example of Christian boldness. Christian boldness. The Sanhedrin members, majority of whom were Sadducees, who believed not in resurrection and spirits, had the apostles arrested and incarcerated and chained in a temple cell. For not only those apostles preached the resurrection, which the Sadducees did not believe in, they preached the resurrection through Yahshua Christ, whom they had killed. Worst of all, to the ruling Sanhedrin members, the apostles were able to convert 5,000 people to Christianity in one day, which assuredly emptied their synagogues and worship place and political grassroots. The next day, they brought the apostles in the midst of their assembly for judgment asking them by what authority did they perform the miracle of healing a crippled man with thousand, with, before thousand, which thousand uh, uh, witnessed. Then the scripture says, I quote, I prefer to quote here, Then Peter, filled with the Holy Spirit, with the Holy Ghost, said unto them, Ye rulers of the people and elders of Israel, if we this day be examined of the good deed done to the important man, by what means he is made whole, be it known unto you all, and to all the people of Israel, that by the name of Yahshua Christ of Nazareth, whom ye crucified, whom God raised from the dead, even by him that this man stand here before you whole. 
this is the stone which was set as not of you builders which is become the head of the corner neither is there salvation in any other for there is none other name under heaven given among men why whereby we must be saved and of course this is quoting verses 8 and uh, and verses 8 to 12 of this chapter acts 4 the physical restoration of the crippled man is a picture of the salvation available to all people through Yahshua Christ. The Sanhedrin was astonished by the courage of Peter and John. Yahshua had been and he, he had been an insightful and formidable opponent of the religious authorities who had repeatedly debated and criticized him. These two were clearly ordinary men, unlearned. But then again, the religious leaders had underestimated Yahshua as well, as it is said in John 7 verse 15. Because the healed man stood before the Sanhedrin, they could not deny the miracle, but neither would they acknowledge it. Even such a convincing display could not penetrate the Sadducees' preoccupation with protecting their vested interests, vested political interests. Which, which were mainly political, as I say, for, for the preservation of the, their governmental positions of authority. These rulers of Israel had to either be saved by that Yahshua whom they had crucified, or they had to perish forever. The name of Yahshua is given to the people of every age and nation as that through which alone believers are saved from the wrath to come. But when covetousness, pride, or any corrupt passion rules within, people shut their eyes and close their hearts in enmity against the light, considering as ignorant and unlearned all who desire to know nothing in comparison with Christ crucified. And the followers of Christ should act so that all who converse with them may take knowledge that they have been with Yahshua. That makes them holy, heavenly, spiritual, and cheerful, and raises them above this world. Second leg of this presentation, the Jews attempt to outlaw Christianity. We're going to interpret the scripture of the day. The Sanhedrin court called a recess, sent the accused apostles aside and laid their heads together. That means they, they gathered together to, to consult each other. It was their joint endeavor to, to stifle the gospel and would now consult about the best expedient. But they would not let the apostles hear lest they might discover the weakness of their proofs against them and against the truth. The Council of Sanhedrin was a body of vast influence and power sitting as the local government. And hence they supposed that their command might be sufficient to restrain ignorant Galileans from speaking. These were just ordinary men, John, Paul and all these apostles. Compared to them in their vast robes with, with gold all over the place. Before this same body, and probably the same men, Yahshua, our Savior, was arraigned, and by them he was condemned be, before he was delivered to, to the Roman governor Pilatus to be killed, as we see it in Matthew 26, verse 59. And before this same body, 
and in the presence of the same men, Peter had just before denied his Lord as he was fleeing uh, because uh, Christ was arrested. We see it in Matthew 26 verse 7. The fact that the disciple had fled on a former occasion when Christ was killed and that Peter had denied his Savior may have operated to induce them, these Sanhedrin members, to believe that they would be terrified by their threats and deterred from preaching publicly, publicly in the name of Yeshua. So the scripture of the day that the Holy Spirit says, saying, what shall we do to these men? End of quote. The question now debated was clearly one that never ought to have been asked, even asked. They were sitting as a court of justice and should have, give, have, have given their verdict for or against the accused according to the evidence. They abandoned that office of judges and begin discussing what policy, what strategy was most expedient. It was, we may add, characteristic of Caiaphas, the Sadducee Sanhedrin head, to do so as we see it in John 11 verses 49 to 50. And the scripture says, for that indeed a notable miracle had been done by them, end of quote. They were convicted, uh, they were convinced that a miracle was wrought, that it was a clear case, a well-known thing, of which there was no room to doubt, and that it was done by the apostles. But this was not all the difficulty. Had it been a thing only within their knowledge and which they could have concealed, it would have, have given them, it would have given them no, no uneasiness. But as they observed themselves, I quote the scripture, it is manifest that all them it, 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 it is manifest to all uh, uh, them that dwell in Jerusalem, end of quote. For the man having been so long lame and had lain so long at the temple where all the in inhabitants frequently went, he was known and took notice of by them and his cure being wrought so openly and in such a miraculous way it was the common talk of the city of Jerusalem so that there was no smoldering it and the scripture says and we cannot deny it end of quote the fact is so certain and evident no they, they say also we, we cannot even hide it as the Ethiopic version of the Bible renders it, it being so notorious and public. He that flatters himself in ignorance at length comes to do open wickedness and that against his own conscience. Then the scripture says, but that is but that it spread no further among the people, end of quote. Meaning, not in Jerusalem, for the fame of this miracle was uh, already spread among the inhabitants of that city, but in other parts of the nation and even the world. Then the scripture says, let us threatly threaten them, end of quote. Or, in threatening, threaten them, that is, severely threaten them with imprisonment or, or with squadron, which was 40 stripes, save one. Or with death itself, like they did, the Yahshua Christ. And the scripture says, and con uh, concludes, the scripture ends by, I quote, that they speak henceforth to no man in this name, end of quote. 
which through indignation and contempt they do not even mention, but mean the name of Yahshua Christ of Nazareth. The essence is that the apostles from this time forward should not teach or preach the doctrine of the resurrection of the dead or any other doctrine of the gospel in the name of Yahshua to any man, Jew or Gentile, or perform any miracle in his name, or call upon or call upon his name, or make use of it for the healing of any person or doing any miraculous work. This looks to <laughs> to us like this order that that the king of Galilee <laughs> gave to Herod gave to Yahshua that he should stop making miracles. And Yahshua answered him. And he said, go tell to that fox that I will keep on making miracles. This is how Yahshua answered to the king, the king of his, of his Galilee. When they had called the apostle back and thus threatened them, the scripture says, but Peter and John answered and said unto them, Whether it be right in the sight of God to hearken, to hearken unto you more than unto God, judge ye. For we cannot but speak the things which we have seen and heard. And I quote, quoting verses 19 to 20 of this, of this chapter, Acts 4. The next leg of this presentation, is it right to hearken unto government more than unto Yahweh? The words are said, the, the verses 19 to 20 which I just read, assert the right of conscience recognizing a divine authority to resist a human authority which opposes it. In theory, as the appeal, as they say, judge ye, showed even then the right so claim is of the nature of an axiom. In practice, however, the difficulty rises, rises in the question. The question is, is there the divine authority which is claimed in this case? It may be obvious. And the only practical answer is to be found in the rule that men who believe they have the authority are bound to act as if they had it. If they believe that they have an authority, they should act as if they had that authority. If Yahweh God had spoken to them, they can but prophesy. This is a quote of Amos 3 verse 8. If Yahweh God had spoken to them, they can but prophesy. Amos 3 verse 8. In cases such as this, where the question is one of witness or facts, they must not tamper with the truth. If they believe themselves commissioned by Yahweh, to declare the facts for fear of offending them when they pass from facts to doctrine inferred from facts from doctrines to opinions from opinions to conjectures the duty of not saying that which they do they do not believe the, of, of not saying what they do not believe the remains the same but there is not the same obligation to proclaim to proclaim what they thus hold in various stages of ascent. There may, there may be there may be cases in which reticence is right as well as politic. And even in regard to facts, the publication as law recognizes in relation in relation to libels must not be gratuitous there must be an adequate authority 
or an adequate reason for disobedience to the human authority which is binding until it is superseded by that which is higher than itself than, than that authority and the, uh, the, uh, the Latin expression onus probandi the onus probandi not known by, by, by lower people rest on the man who accepts the higher authority intensity of conviction may be enough for himself but it cannot be expected that it will be so for others in the absence of signs and wonders, the question must be discussed in the wide ground of reason and conscience. And the man who refuses to enter into debate on that ground because he is certain he is right in, he is ipso facto convicted of an odd, odd almost insane egotism. The words have clearly no bearing on the, on the, I quote, forward retention, and of quote, forward retention of a custom which Yahweh had not enjoined, and the lawful authority has forbidden. We must obey men to whom we are subject, but especially and before all things, we must obey Yahweh. This is a clear answer to those who think Christians and citizens must always obey government, taking support from the following scripture, I quote, Let every soul be subject unto the higher power, for there is no power but of God. The powers that be are ordained of God, end of quote, quoting Romans 13 verse 1. A power, but listen to this, a power ordained by God is not higher than the power of God. Apostle Paul, power ordained by God, but the power ordained by God is not a higher than the power of God. It is not at all right to hearken unto government more than Yahweh. A Christian should never obey an order from government that is contrary to the word, instruction, sign, revelation, or will of Yahweh God. For at their second arrest by the Sanhedrin for transgressing the local government decree, the, that means the, the Sanhedrin decree, that which the Holy Spirit just gave us as the scripture of the day, I quote, Peter and the other apostles answered and said, We ought to obey God rather than man. End of quote. Quoting Acts 5 verse 29. Christian civil disobedience should always be the answer to any government that calls to disobey Yahweh. Governments must make sure their laws are not in conflict with Yahweh's laws, lest true Christians will always transgress them. Governments that have followed these rules have the best constitutions and laws of the land, often materialized into welfare state, welfare state, which is the greater ach achievement of, hum of humanity, the welfare state. Governments that have not followed this rule are often the tyrannical and totalitarian states in the world history. Know this, and the Lord Yahweh will bless you. Let us pray. Let us pray for government in oppressive regimes. 1 Timothy 2 verses 1 to 2 has clear instructions that we should pray, I quote, for kings and all those in authority, end of quote. This is a direct instruction from scripture that we should regard seriously. At the moment, more than ever, battle is on the way in the air for 
total control and power of government in many countries in the world. More than 1.6 billion people, uh, about 23% of the world population, have no say in how they are governed and face severe consequences if they try to exercise their most basic rights, such as expressing their views, assembling peace, peace, peacefully, and organizing independently, e e organizing independently of the state, which is re happening now in my own home country, Cameroon, uh, uh, since uh, 2016, and uh, the, 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 the government is oppressing the people who try to exercise their, their rights, their God-given rights. These numbers, 1.6 billion, are increasing day by day as more and more oppressive regimes assert their powers and overthrow government. Let us pray. Lord Yahshua brings salvation to leaders of oppress oppressive regime so that they can be reconciled to Yahweh. In the name of Yeshua, Lord Yahshua, bring salvation to leaders of oppressive regime so that they can be reconciled to Yahweh. In the name of Yeshua, Lord Yahshua, bring salvation to leaders of oppressive regimes so that they can be reconciled to Yahweh. Thank you, Lord. All to your glory. In the mighty name of Yeshua, the Messiah, we pray. Lord Yahweh, specifically send people to them who can witness to them. In the name of Yeshua, Lord Yahweh, specifically, specifically send people to them who can witness to them. In the name of Yeshua, Lord Yahweh, specifically send people to them who can witness to them. Thank you, Lord. All to your glory. In the mighty name of Yeshua, the Messiah, we pray. Bring your grace that corrupt and unsaved leaders may become convicted uh, and that they will seek your forgiveness. In the name of Yeshua, Father Yahweh, bring your grace that corrupt and unsaved leaders may become convicted and that they will seek your forgiveness. In the name of Yeshua, Father Yahweh, bring your grace that corrupt and unsaved leaders may become convicted and that they will seek your forgiveness. Thank you, Lord. All to your glory. In the mighty name of Yeshua, the Messiah, we pray. Bring your grace to them for pure lives and sober habits. In the name of Yeshua, bring your grace to them for pure lives and sober habits. In the name of Yeshua, Father Yahweh, bring your grace to them for pure lives and sober habits. Thank you, Lord. All to your glory. In the mighty name of Yeshua, the Messiah, we pray. Bring your grace to their families for their salvation that they will influence the, uh, their, their lives positively. In the name of Yeshua, bring your grace to their families for their salvation, that they will influence their lives positively. In the name of Yeshua, Father Yahweh, bring your grace to their families for their salvation, that they will influence their lives positively. Thank you, Lord. All to your glory. In the mighty name of Yeshua, the Messiah, we pray. Bring your grace to them that in the execution of their duties they will act fairly, humanly, who humanly and with insight. In the name of Yeshua, bring your grace to them, Father Yahweh, that in the execution of their duties they will act fairly, humanly and with insight. In the name of Yeshua, bring your grace to them that in the execution of their duties they will act fairly, humanly and with insight. Thank you, Lord. All to your glory. In the mighty name of Yeshua, the Messiah, we pray. Lord Holy Spirit, pour out the love of God into, the, into their lives. In the name of Yeshua, Lord Holy Spirit, pour out the love of God into their lives. In the name of Yeshua, Lord Holy Spirit, pour out the love of God into their lives. Thank you, Lord. All to your glory. In the mighty name of Yeshua, the Messiah, we pray. He has shown you, O oh mortal, what is good, and what does Yahweh require of you? To act justly, and to love mercy, and to walk humbly with your God. In the name of Yeshua, He has shown you, O oh mortal, what is good, and what does Yahweh require of you? To act justly, and to love mercy, and to walk humbly with your God. In the name of Yeshua, he had shown you, O oh mortal, what is good. And what does Yahweh require of you? 
to act justly and to love mercy and to work to walk to walk humbly with your God. Thank you, Lord. All to your glory. In the mighty name of Yeshua the Messiah, we pray. Yahweh Shafa, bring on fear and godless leaders to make mistakes that will be to the advantage of the gospel. In the name of Yeshua, Yahweh Shafat, bring on fear and godless leaders to make mistakes that will be to the advantage of the gospel. In the name of Yeshua, Yahweh Shafat, bring on fear and godless leaders to make mistakes that will be to the advantage of the gospel. Thank you, Lord. All to your glory. In the mighty name of Yeshua, the Messiah, we pray. Lord, bring oppressors and godless leaders to lose their position of power by means of wrong advice. In the name of Yeshua, Lord, that we bring oppressors and godless leaders to lose their positions of power by means of wrong advice. In the name of Yeshua, Lord, that we bring oppressors and godless leaders to lose their positions of power by means of wrong advice. Thank you, Lord. All to your glory. In the mighty name of Yeshua, the Messiah, we pray. Confuse the wicked, O Yahweh. Confirm their speech. But for I see violence and strife in the city. In the name of Yeshua, confi confuse the wicked, O Yahweh. Confirm their, their speech. For I see violence and strife in the city. In the name of Yeshua, confuse the wicked, O Yahweh. Confirm their speech. For I see violence and strife in this city. Thank you, Lord. All to your glory. In the mighty name of Yeshua the Messiah, we pray. Lord Yahweh, disrupt the advice of evil advisors. So that, that you will that you will give the leaders wisdom and discernment. In the name of Yeshua, Lord Yahweh, disrupt the advice of evil advisors. That you will give the leaders wisdom and discernment. In the name of Yeshua, Lord Yahweh, disrupt the advice of evil advisors that you will give the leader the wisdom and discernment. Thank you, Lord. All to your glory. In the mighty name of Yeshua, the Messiah, we pray. Yahweh Shaphat, let the plans of those who are involved in unholy plots and conspiracies be broken, whether the conspirators are people in authority or persons seeking to harm someone in authority. In the name of Yeshua, Yahweh Shaphat, let the plans of those who are involved in unholy plots and conspiracies be broken, whether the conspirators are people in authority or per persons seeking to harm someone in authority. In the name of Yeshua, Yahweh Shaphat, let the plans of those who are involved in unholy plots and conspiracies be broken. Whether the conspirators are people in authority or persons seeking to harm someone in authority. Thank you, Lord. All to your glory. In the mighty name of Yeshua, the Messiah, 